The way below winds deeper, longer, unspeakable, its patterns laid. The lost, forever damned to wander, this thing a quiet madness made. Hi, I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to do a short summary, hopefully short, of SCP-3935, uh, This Thing a Quiet Madness Made. Uh, it is an article by DJ Cactus, one of the dozen or so authors on the SCP Wiki who I think I can clearly say are better at, uh, better at this than I am. Um, there are probably others, those are just the ones that I know of. And today we're going to talk about SCP-3935. And this is, um, if not one of his more popular works, because he has incredibly highly rated stuff, so even a plus 500 work isn't one of his more popular rated works, it is definitely uh, one of the works on the wiki I think that a lot of people see as a particularly good horror. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of horror on the wiki, generally, but I actually liked this one. Um... We're going to go over just a couple of basic details from the description. It's an extra SCP-3935 is an extratemporal, extraspatial, non-Euclidean space located beneath Salvation High School in Salvation, Indiana. This is, that's the most of the, you need to know specifically. Uh, when it says extratemporal, extraspatial, and non-Euclidean, uh, these are just a combination of factors uh, that make it essentially an eldritch location. And I'm aware that the term non-Euclidean uh, is misused constantly in uh, cosmic horror stories uh, and in the, on the SCP Wiki in general. Uh, but it, technically, this is describing it as extraspatial, extratemporal, and non-Euclidean. So, um, but regardless, uh, this is dealing with an Eldritch location. The SCP is, at its core, about probably, let's say, two things. First of all, the shame that you get in small-town America for being a person... <laughs> especially in religious communities. Uh, even the name of the high school, Salvation uh, High School in Salvation, Indiana, implies a, a strongly religious uh, sort of background to the city. Um, and this is reflected in the way the cause of the anomaly was treated. Uh, a cheerleader at the school got pregnant. How she got pregnant, no one knows, because a lot of things are now lost. <laughs> due to the anomaly appearing, but she got pregnant and was shamed about for it by her entire uh, social group, including the other cheerleaders. So what happens is when she finally has the child out of shame or anger or resentment or just believing what people told her about how, like, naturally evil it was for her to do this a horrible the horrible thing of getting pregnant uh she drowns it in a, the school pool and from that point on everything goes sideways um it, it's not it's not it's not clear if it was an immediate thing it's not clear where the child was buried if at all um possibly underneath the pool somehow possibly on school grounds somewhere Possibly not at all. Possibly that the anomaly just triggered when this happened. But she and the child disappear into the story, for lack of a better way to put it. And the SCP Foundation has to spend quite a lot of time. Well, first, it's the UIU, but they don't do a very good job with it. And then the SCP Foundation gets involved. And, uh, and that's really summarizing a, a significant portion of the article there. But it's easier to just say that that the UIU got involved, screwed it up, and the SCP Foundation came in to clean up. Once the SCP Foundation gets involved, they do some exploration of the uh, of the anomaly. They learn a lot about what happened. Um, the school got really weird for several days. The students sort of noticed but didn't notice what was going on, and the school staff, and this is the other major theme of the article, school staff pretty much ignored these critically terrible things that were going on that were clearly wrong in multiple ways, and they just kind of, as I said, ignored it. 
Uh, this is reflective of as a lesson, if you think about it. This one girl was being bullied incessantly by her social group and being told that she was, you know, worthless or whatever uh, because she got pregnant and the school just let it happen. They just ignored it. And so when the anomaly comes along, of course, their behavior doesn't change. Despite the fact that people are like phasing in and out of walls and floors and like <laughs> the the just terribly weird stuff is going on. The school administration is like, OK, but is it snowing? Because if not, we're not closing school <laughs> until they do. And then when they do, the students show up anyway. And uh, and eventually uh, the town has to be completely abandoned because it, it, the anomaly doesn't stay at the school. It gets it starts at the school, probably starts at the pool where the thing has been drowned. And then it gets worse and bigger and bigger until it encompasses the entire city. And that's essentially it. I mean, if you uh, leave the article open long enough, you will hear my voice in your left ear saying, hello. And that's a major plot point of the article, that there's some entity that's constantly saying hello. And that is probably the spirit and or uh, eldritch abomination that is creating this terrible terrible cursed area uh but this again isn't particularly clear it's meant to be unclear because it's so weird what's going on here uh that you know you can't get in and find out exact details thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video <laughs> if you enjoyed the video scroll down and hit the subscribe button i'm thinking about continuing to do more uh, SCP summarizations like this, where basically I just recall from memory with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of re like just reading the first sentence of the description can be helpful. But like just recalling from memory what I know about an SCP article, uh, I picked this one from the suggestions in the last video um, because I'm already familiar with it. Uh, but there are other articles on the SCP Wiki that are quite long that people might be interested in seeing a summary of as well. So if you have something in mind, let me know in the comments down below and I will give it a look. And even if it isn't something I've read before, maybe it'll be a good excuse for me to read some stuff on the Wiki. Uh, I don't always have time for that anymore. And it'd be nice to have a reason to do so. But yeah, offer me suggestions for super long articles or as I like to call it, uh, cactus style articles. <laughs> he is a very, very good writer, but him and I have completely different, up and it's funny because we've collaborated quite a lot. We have completely opposing like viewpoints on how to create fiction on the SCP Wiki. He creates these amazing short story to novella length articles. And I'm like, I think I'm just gonna stick to the flash fiction because it's way easier. <laughs> and he's also better at it than I am. So, you know, that helps. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and then uh, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. Pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki and Dr. J Redacted, who have both pledged at $100. Also, the comments that were made in the last video have helped the reach of the video, so I would very much like it, even if you don't have a suggestion for uh, an article you'd like to see a summary of, though keep that in mind. But even if you don't, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this video. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again on Tuesday.